Israel has lost the kingdom. When Jesus was teaching his apostles, he often spoke in parables, and they usually didn't understand. He had to explain to them later. Sometimes when he was teaching, the chief priests, the Pharisees, and the teachers of the law were there as well, listening, and they usually didn't like what Jesus was saying. <laughs> now, after Jesus did his redemptive work and rose from the dead, he was seen by the apostles a number of times as he taught them about the kingdom of God. And the last time he saw them before ascending into heaven, before their very eyes, the apostles asked him, Lord, are you going to at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? They still didn't understand. After all that Jesus taught them, they didn't understand. And that's because they didn't have the Holy Spirit yet. It's after you receive the Holy Spirit that you understand. Because the Holy Spirit brings light to the understanding of God's Word. But at that time, the church hadn't started yet. And they didn't understand. And so they asked that question thinking that this was about the nation of Israel. And Jesus said, it is... It's not for you to know the times that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you'll be witnesses to me throughout the whole world, Jerusalem, Samaria, and the whole world. And so that's the last thing he said to the apostles before ascending into heaven. So he's basically telling them right there that this message is for the whole world, which includes all the Gentiles. And so even though they heard that, they still didn't understand because later on when the first Gentiles are saved, some of the disciples are saying, so God has even included the Gentiles. And Peter, who was the one who led the first Gentiles to Jesus, was he was surprised as well, even though Jesus said that to them in Acts 1 before ascending into heaven. Now, in Luke 17... The Pharisees had asked Jesus uh, when the kingdom of God is coming. And Jesus said, the kingdom of God does not come with your observ observation. Like you can't say here it is or there it is. The kingdom of God is within you. See, they didn't understand. And Jesus was building a kingdom in the hearts of men, one person at a time. It was no longer about one nation of Israel as a whole. It's the whole world for whoever believes. Whoever believes that God is a loving, gracious, merciful God, and, and, um, and for those who understand their spiritual condition and their need, they humble themselves and give their hearts to Jesus Christ. Now, one more thing. In Matthew 21, Jesus is teaching his apostles about a, a landowner. And the chief priest, in, in this particular a portion of scripture, Matthew 21, 33 to 43, the chief priests and Pharisees are there listening as well, and they didn't like it. And this is what Jesus is saying. He, he teaches about a landowner who has, a, he plants a vineyard, and then he, he digs a wine press, builds a wall around the vineyard, and builds a tower, and then he leases out the vineyard to vine growers, and then goes on a long journey. And when it's time for the fruit to be collected, he sends slaves to the vineyard to collect his portion of the fruit from the vine growers, and the vine growers kill the slaves. So the landowner sends more slaves, and the vine growers kill those slaves as well. Then the landowner sends his son, thinking, they'll respect my son. And the vine growers see that it's the son, and they said, oh, this is the heir. Let's kill him and take the inheritance. And so Jesus says, what will, what will the vine grower, what, what will the landowner do when he returns? And they said, they understood. They said, he'll kill those wretches and then rent out, lease out the land, the vineyard, to those who will give him his fruit at the proper time. And so Jesus says, after they said that, Jesus said to them in verse 42, did you never read in the scriptures? And he's speaking to the chief priests and the Pharisees. Did you never read in the scriptures a stone which the builders rejected? This has become the chief cornerstone. 
This came about from the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, verse 43, therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruit. Okay, so it's all right there in the scripture. If all of this is replacement theology, then yes, I believe in a replacement theology. Because it was never about one nation or that particular portion of land. Although I believe the earth remains, the, world, the, the Bible says world without end. And so this world is going to remain in, in the millennial reign of Christ, which I believe is coming, although many believers think we're in it right now. I believe it's coming in the future. It's, I believe it's the seventh day. I'm going to get into this on another video. It's, we're, we're almost done with 6,000 years of history. One year, one, one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day. And so the six days of creation before the seventh day of rest, we've seen 6,000 years. And then the thousand year millennial reign of Christ is that day of rest where Christ reigns on the earth. And it's going to be, then there is something to do with land. But as Jesus is building his kingdom, it's in the hearts of man. And it's one person at a time. And it doesn't exclude the Jews the Bible says for the Jew first and then for the Gentile. Every generation is a remnant that Jesus saves amongst the Jews. First for the Jew, then for the Gentile. It's in every generation. Okay, and so God hasn't rejected the Jews. It's just that not all of them have believed because many of them, like the Zionists of today, think it's just about that nation and the rest of us can go to hell right? <laughs> this is the way they think, right? So, but they're wrong. It's, it's about everybody. God loves everybody. And so we need to teach God's word accurately. And so I hope this helps you understand. And one more thing before you go, check out the description section of this video for links, including a link to our website, carboboxchurch.com. Please bookmark that website and visit it often because I put content there that you don't see on YouTube and also because of YouTube censorship. I've been censored heavily for the last three and a half to four years. And so uh, you'll help this ministry continue to reach people by doing that for us. So thanks for watching.